All right, so I'm gonna show y'all something right quick. So I just tried to do um, that uh, end piece in the uh, PETG on my P1S and the nozzle got clogged with some of the uh, Thrifty Make PLA Plus that was uh, left in there from the last one. And I guess it just got too hard. So I had to resurrect another uh, 0.6 nozzle that I had and that was also clogged and I cleared it, put it on there. This is a brand new 0.4 nozzle that I had on there. And what I have to do with really stubborn clogs is you can, if you have a torch, you can use it or you can use a heat gun or whatever, but I hold it like this and I just warm up that uh, heat and warm up the nozzle and get it nice and hot. Get it nice and hot and then I use my no clogger and I just run it through and push out any remnants of filament that's in there and then you'll also pull out some on the end of the no clogger that you can just use some uh, cutters or something like that to clean off the end of that some remnants of the uh, old filament but I already mainly cleared this one uh, before I started the camera and I was like I should show how to do this but uh, I already got it mostly out Get that all out of there to get it clear. And I'm filling for it to fill if I feel any resistance on the inside in there. But I got it all cleared out now. So there we go. And nothing else is coming out on the tip. So I'm pretty sure it is all clear down in there. Give it another little warm and see if anything else. Yeah, that's it. So I'm all the way down now and it feels clear in there and nothing else is coming out. So I got all the filament out of the nozzle and if I could, I could probably look down there and see the tiny pinhole a lot. But uh, that's what I've had to do several times when I get some of these nozzles that get really, really, really clogged and I can't clear them with the needle and the machine can't push hard enough to push the uh, filament usually it happens somewhere in this neck right here um, right in there and either a piece of junk or a piece of filament gets overcooked probably what it was was I went from PLA to pet G and the PLA you know typically runs at a much cooler temperature but um, I'm betting that either I had some heat creep or uh, a piece of that PLA got kind of slightly overcooked inside the nozzle and just got hard and when the PETG was trying to feed in it couldn't it, there wasn't enough strength in the uh, nozzle or in the extruder of the bamboo lab to push it out um, it's a great extruder it's not terribly strong not compared to like Creality's extruders or Elegoo's extruders which uh, I <laughs> the Elegoo extruders I absolutely love them they um, I love their feed I love how you can empty the filament literally you can just like the um, retractions on the Elegoo when it gets done printing like if I it, it finished last night if I want to unload this filament it's already retracted. I can literally just pull it out and uh, it's ready to go. So I love uh, how simple they make it and stuff like that. And Creality with their Sprite extruders are really strong. And as you can see, the uh, filament, the PETG is printing fine on the Ender 3 V3KE. So it wasn't the uh, PETG. I think it was just a piece of uh, overcooked PLA uh, that was in there. but. This is how I cleared the 0.6 nozzle that was clogged that's now on there because I've got an entire box of nozzles that have clogged and uh, when I need to I get around to them and I'll unclog them this way. So 
that's just how I'm showing it. Probably be better to use, uh, I like using the torch just because I can direct the flame right where I want it. Where a heat gun, you, you kind of have a larger barrel, so you're heating a little bit larger area. I try to keep most of the heat out of the uh, heat break area, but you'll get some. But the no clogger is uh, great. You can get it on uh, Amazon, and um, it's really inexpensive. This is just a 3D printed handle and then it's a rod that's the exact size 1.75 millimeters and it fits all the way in there but this fits good and snug to where it pushes all the filament out and you'll clear a clog so there you go just wanted to show that